Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. Continuing this four-part series in learning the syntax of Arduino IDE libraries. In this part two, we cover the mandatory library file contents and conventions. Reminder that there are always two files, the .h, the header file, and the .c++ cpp. So all Arduino libraries must have a .h file and the convention is that the dots are replaced with underscores. You must test for the inclusion of the library and if it hasn't been included define a logical name. You must include the Arduino IDE core and then you must define the class, the class name, what, what functions and variables are public and private. Similarly, all Arduino IDE library files must contain a .cpp file, a C++ file. That file must include the class name, um, whatever you've chosen to call it, but it must include the class name .h, mysensor.h, LED controls .h. You then must go on to define the functions, but you must prefix the function name with the scope resolution operator, uh, which in this case is the class name. So that sensor colon colon is the class name and that must be the prefix to all functions. That tells the compiler that this function is part of the class is a class member. So in summary then, all libraries must have a .h file, a header file, must have a .cpp, a C++ file. You must test for duplicate inclusions and you must include Arduino.h. And private variables ideally should be prefixed with an underscore. It's a convention, it's not a requirement. In part three then is the meaning and use of the scope resolution operator. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 